Hey guys, here's the Mexican Thorless Lime. I finally took it out about a week ago. It spent all winter indoors. Um, it lost a lot of leaves as I knew it would. It always does when it's indoors. Um, the main reason I took it out though wasn't really the temperatures because as I was watering when it one day, I felt sticky substance on the ground, which I knew that's the first sign that it's, a, it's already infested with scale. And um, sure enough, when I checked the branches, I did see scale on it. And I knew this happens to, this, this one to citrus. And this is a Mexican tortoise lime, so I was expecting it to happen, but not so soon in the season. Um, I, know it, I know it would look real nice with all the, you know, the little flowers whenever they come out. But I consider this my worst tree because it just gets infested so easily. And just to give you an idea, this little brown spot, oh, there's an ant right there, oh, it's getting me. You see these brown spots? That's the scale. That's the female. It's actually dimorphic, so basically the, the male is a fly, the female attaches to the stems and it sucks out the sap. And that's what it uses for its nutrients. And it secretes the sweet stuff, but the ants like to farm them, basically. So to give you an idea, now that I, it's been out here for a week and it's already um, full of ants, you see? A lot of activity going on. Look at all the scale on this branch right here. Look at all the scale around here. I could probably, uh, the easiest way to do it, the most, is like you scratch it off, you know, just scrape it off. But basically scale, I know it sounds gross, but I kind of think of it as uh, lice for trees. You know, you gotta go through it. You can use chemicals if you want, but the objective for me having this tree is to eat the lime. Uh, so I don't want to use um, inorganic uh, chemicals. But if you don't do anything about it, if you just let the scale, it'll it'll definitely destroy the tree because it sucks, it sucks out all the sap, all the energy, the nutrients. So right here is an example. Look, this little branch is already dead. So the scale get on it, they suck out all the nutrients, and then it dies. So if I look on down here on this stem, look, there's scale here. See, I'm gonna take it off. See, I just scratched it off. There's another one here. And they reproduce so fast. But um, if you, uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't like citrus plants, because uh, it's almost guaranteed that you're gonna have scale. And then another thing, as the lemons start to grow, the limes, the ants will cut them off so then you don't ever get anything because you're either fighting the temperature in zone 8a or you're fighting the scale like you can see right there and i know some of y'all might say well the tree doesn't look healthy and it is true a healthy tree is more likely to uh fight off uh you know unwanted pests and bacteria and whatever but um i can't it's really hard unless i had a greenhouse or something like that which i don't so i do like the tree but in reality it, it's a pain and uh i nominated the, the worst tree in my in my yard and there's a video i made like a couple months ago about it but you know it smells real nice you use the uh, leaves to make tea uh whenever the key limes the, they're not key limes the little limes come out you can use them you know and they taste pretty good i tasted them before but just to to keep it without scale is, is an issue, at least here in Zone 8A in Texas. So anyway, guys, until next time.